this is the latest evolution of the froggy fly this one is made to look as real as possible and what I did which is different than the prior versions I used tan foam to start with then a lot of sharpie markers this thing doesn't have uh, protruding eyes it simply has sharpie markers to use for eyes the back yellow doubled these these feathers are doubled up you can't tell because I ended up gluing them together I glued them together here with the E6000 stuff it stays a little bit flexible that's where one feather meets another one I just used these these types of feathers I use a short one and a long one and the reason I did that is because when using a regular spro frog I've got it on real good advice that the first thing you need to do is shorten the legs so this fly has much shorter legs they're far less pronounced than what I've been doing on the back of flies or also they started out that color and you just hit them with sharpie markers yellow and and green and that makes them look very much more the color that I think they need you know I I've, I've had a lot of of bass run up on this fly and then stop they hesitate and I think they hesitate because it just doesn't look right so this is built tied stuck together uh, to look more like a frog it's about the right size this thing will also it'll probably dive when you pull it it'll probably dive I threw it in the sink about 50 times and it landed with in this orientation you know with a hook down I didn't try to make it hook up I, didn't. I think that is a good imitation frog we'll give it a test here before too long and if it works like I think it should I'll come back and do a tie on it it's really simple it's just the same layered foam approach to tying a fly that I've used many many times but we'll see thanks for watching y'all be good bye